everyone, this is Nikki from the design team and today I'm going to be introducing the new snowflake frame backdrop. This die has snowflakes all around the edges and it has a stitched inner and outside layer. It leaves a lot of room in the middle for some really fun designs. It could be great for a shaker card. Today I'm going to briefly show you one of the cards that I made with it. The one I made involves watercolor and just adding some fun designs to the middle. I also think this would be a great place to put a large sentiment and Kat has several large sentiments that would look great in the middle of this. Today I'm going to be using some of the snowflakes that she also has in her collection that go very well with this die. You probably need some type of little pointy tool to get all these little pieces of your die cut out, but look at how intricate it is around the edges. And no worries, this watercolor card coming in a video very soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the Cat Scrappiness channel, make sure you do that. If you go shopping today, please use the links that I included in the description as well. I'm going to use these large snowflakes in the upper right corner. This is also part of the release and it comes as a pack of three. I'm going to layer these up on this and it's going to look so beautiful. I'm going to use some silver paper behind my window here so that it is also shiny, but it really would look cool as a shaker card. I think I'm going to have to do that soon is make one of these into a shaker card. Okay, so here's this final card. I know you are interested in how I did this. Make sure you come back for the video. I do videos twice a month on the channel and would love to have you back to see some of these process cards. So I hope you have a great day. Make sure you go through the links in the description if you're going shopping today and catch some more of these intro videos. Lots of great new products in the release. Bye!